there was a time when if you want to create a WordPress website, you were fully dependent on what theme you are using. If you want to create a corporate business website, there is a separate theme for that. If you want to create a food blog or any other blog, there is a separate theme for that. If you want to create any XYZ specific website, there is a specific theme for that. And if you wish to change anything which is not native in the theme that you are using, then you actually need to create a custom template in that theme for which you need to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP as well. And this is something not very convenient for a non-technical guy like me or maybe most of us. And then came the page builders like Divi which gave users a fully non-code experience for creating a WordPress website. We can now create pages, posts and even custom templates by just using the drag and drop interface. But with all these recent advancement in the WordPress core application, do we really need a third party page builder? Spoiler alert, one way or the other, you probably need one. So what exactly is a page builder? In simple terms, we can say that a page builder is a third party visual editor which can help you create pages, posts and sometimes page builders like Divi can also help you create custom templates for your website. Now some of these page builders are packed as theme and some of them are also packed as a plugin. But the native idea is to add a drag and drop functionality on your website using which you will be able to add a completely no code functionality to create any kind of page or template on your website which helps the non-techie site owners to create any kind of page layout which is almost impossible to achieve using native themes. Now if you are a WordPress user then I'm sure you remember the classic editor. So in order to create any page or any blog post we need to type in everything in this text area. Or if you are that techie guy and you know a little bit of HTML CSS, you can use the text tab here and add your code in this to do the little bit of formatting and create a custom look for your page. And that's the biggest hurdle. If you know HTML and CSS, then you can create anything, but it's not an easy task for most of the users. And the moment you thought of adding anything custom on your website or even on the page, you need to create a separate template.php file. This is an obvious constraint for most of the non-technical users. But with the WordPress version 5, WordPress has developed and introduced the blog editor, which is actually a page builder in itself. So is WordPress default editor a page builder? In one sense, the block editor is actually a page builder. It offers a completely visual editing experience for pages, posts and theme areas like header, slide bar and footer. Page and block templates are readily available for free and paid. And this was named Gutenberg, which is now the default editor for WordPress, which allows users to create content using blocks, each representing different content elements like paragraph, images, videos and more. Now this block editor or the native WordPress editor we have now is constantly evolving with every version of WordPress, but right now it is in a stable form to create any kind of website. But to be honest, right now it's not ready for everyone. Many people believe that the block editor was rushed and lack important features and other page builders have been around for a very long time and may provide more straightforward and comprehensive website building experience. Now the native block editor definitely got some advantages because it is native to WordPress, it got wide range of core and third party blocks, reusable blocks and patterns and it can work with block themes and it's also lightweight and fast because it's already built in the WordPress application. But as I mentioned before, even if we have all these blocks to create a website, the website building experience is far better when we use a third party page builder. So on one hand, we have a native page builder which is inbuilt in the WordPress application. And on the other hand, we have various third party page builders which we can choose to create any kind of website. So if we come back to our initial question, do I need a WordPress page builder? And I would say the question is no more whether you need a page builder or not, but which one suits best for your website needs. Because as mentioned in the very beginning, one way or the other, you need to choose one. Either you need to use the WordPress default block editor, or you can use a third party page builder, depending upon what kind of website you are trying to build. And no, using a third party page builder, do not slow down your website. But while building your website, you need to make sure that you are following some basic guidelines so that you don't bloat your website with lot of images, data, so that it will slow down the website performance. So now if you are ready to make a choice, then here are popular page builders for WordPress. 
Number one, Divi. Divi is a powerful and versatile page builder with a drag and drop interface. It offers a wide range of pre-designed templates and modules, making it super easy to create visually stunning and highly customizable websites without any knowledge of coding. Divi is known for its user interface and extensive design options, including animations, custom CSS, and global elements. Now, one impressive feature about Divi is that it's not just a page builder, but it's a complete ecosystem. The Divi ecosystem brings great efficiency, peace of mind, and features to those who need them. With Divi, you get unlimited website usage so that you can create multiple websites for yourself or maybe for your clients. And along with that, you can use Divi AI to create some amazing looking web pages in just a few seconds. And not just web pages, you will be able to generate some amazing looking images as well as content using Divi AI for your WordPress website. With Divi Teams, it allows site owners share their Divi resources with team members so there are no bottlenecks in team efficiency. And most importantly, priority support. Divi VIP gives you peace of mind by providing access to best-in-class customer support within 30 minutes. So get those problems solved today, not next week. And along with that, you also get access to Divi Cloud, where you can share Divi assets across multiple websites. And with that, you can also use Divi Marketplace for Divi extended features. And we have plenty of ideas that we are working on. And with the unbeatable price structure and customer reviews, Divi ecosystem is here to make your job easier. Page Builder number 2. Elementor Elementor is a very popular page builder known for its intuitive drag and drop interface and exclusive customization options. It provides robust features including vast variety of templates, widgets and design elements. Elementor suits users of all skill levels and offers advanced capabilities like theme building, motion effects and custom CSS. Page Builder number 3. Beaver Builder Beaver Builder is a reliable and user-friendly page builder with a clean and intuitive drag-and-drop interface. It provides solid range of design tools and templates, making it easy to create professional-looking websites. It's also known for its stability, performance, and compatibility with various themes and plugins. So no matter if you are creating a personal portfolio website, a business website, or maybe a full-fledged e-commerce website, Page builders like Divi is a perfect choice for making modern and advanced websites. And if you want to learn more about Divi, how it works and how you can create your own website using Divi, we will add tutorials in the video description of this video. So once you are done with this one, make sure you check out the video description to learn more about it. In the end, if you are using WordPress, then you need to use one or the other page builder. Either you can go with the native blog editor or you can choose a third-party page builder that suits your requirement. So I hope you like this video and if you do, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.